All right, this is the pizza run test. Uh, we're going to Mario and Salvo's Pizza from downtown Syracuse. I'm going to put autopilot on right now. And uh, we're running this time software version 2020.36, full self-driving capability and autopilot traffic light and stop sign control beta is turned on. Also new in this update, we have the green traffic light chime. So we'll probably have an opportunity to uh, show you that today too. All right, the light is green, the car is proceeding, but I'm actually going to disengage here and take a right because we like to go through this intersection. And once again, we're here at the place where the first time I was able to make a Pittsburgh left uh, if the person coming the other way isn't paying attention. It looks like this guy's paying attention or gal. Uh, so we'll just wait here for the light to turn green. And there was that chime uh, indicating the light turned green. Now, we're coming up on this intersection that always has given trouble in the past. Uh, both, well, actually the last time it, it, it went fine, I just realized. Autopilot gave up and uh, I'm going to have to take over and disengage for the second time. All right, the light is green. Autopilot chimed at me, so I'll proceed. And now I can engage autopilot again. It just chimed to tell me that that light is green and that I can acknowledge it. Now we're approaching this intersection again. Uh, there have been some issues in the past. Uh, last time we were the first car in line, autopilot just gave up here. Now it is seeing both sets of lights, but uh, unfortunately autopilot did give up already. So I'll disengage here for the third time. So I'm driving right now, autopilot is still disengaged, uh, but as soon as we get the indicator here, I'll re-engage autopilot. This light up here is green, so I'll acknowledge it now. That car was a little too far ahead, autopilot wanted acknowledgement, so I hit the stock again. And one more green light up here to acknowledge. Another light to acknowledge since we're the first car in line. Oh, pedestrian, slowing down. Well, uh, this is unfortunate. The light is green, but the road is closed. So I'm going to try to go around and still get back to that same intersection so that we can do those uh, single flashing yellow lights. Okay, we're back on our route. And as soon as I get the signal, I'll engage autopilot. Here come those blinking yellow lights in the past. It's been done fine if there's a car in front of us. This time it's not, uh, it's starting to show a red line. It does seem to slow down here and then pick back up after it gets out of view, after the flashing yellow light gets out of view of the cameras. So uh, yeah, mixed results there. Not great, especially if there's a car behind us. I just let it do its thing that time because there was no car behind us. It wants acknowledgement here, I think maybe because that car was a little bit over stop line. Oh, an autopilot had me take over. I think because that car was turning or maybe because the road was wet here, it lacked confidence, but uh, I just turned autopilot back on and it didn't need explicit acknowledgement for those green lights. So we'll just continue. Okay, the light's green. I hit the button to acknowledge. And I hit it that time before the chime had a chance to go off. I noticed it gives you about like one to two seconds uh, once the light turns green before it actually chimes. So that's kind of nice. It makes it a fun game to try to hit the button or start going before it chimes at you. The 
the lights green, I hit the stock to acknowledge. Okay, the light's green. Oh, I got it in before the chime there. And uh, coming up ahead are those two sets of blinking yellow lights. They're full-size traffic lights. Uh, last time we went through on software version 2020.32.3, uh, the one on the right in the second set was out. Now they're all working again. They're all blinking yellow at the same time. And we'll see what autopilot does. It looks like it's slowing down and there is a car behind me. It made it through the first set and I'm just going to push the accelerator because we got down to about 15 miles per hour and uh, there was a van behind us here. Uh, so it didn't really seem like much different uh, from other tests on this version of the software compared to the previous two versions that I got. So we're coming up on this school zone light that's not on, but uh, sometimes autopilot will pick it up here and, uh, and then start to slow down. See there, it, it actually picked it up. It looked like two different stoplights, but luckily it didn't change my speed. I've had mixed results where sometimes it slows down there. So uh, we're almost at Mario and Salvo's now. So I am going to do the final disengage. That uh, wasn't a really great clean run like last time, uh, but you know we had a couple of places we had to disengage, especially since we were the first car in line. There wasn't as much traffic out today, but we'll enjoy some delicious pizza and then take a cruise back. Cool. There it is. All right, wow. I am continually impressed by that delicious pizza and I think my favorite time of the week is when there's a software update because Bill and I get to come eat some pizza. Anyway, let's go back in the other direction. Hopefully, it will be pretty uneventful, except for the part where we have to go around the closed road. Okay, we're in the lane. I've got the indicator here, and autopilot is engaged. Here are those blinking school zone lights from the past few videos where the car has sometimes slowed down and it looks like it's slowing down a little bit at least but i'm not going to do anything and it only got down to about 19 miles an hour and now it's speeding back up definitely there is still some work to be done on avoiding those blinking yellow lights that are just on the side of the road i've seen it happen with bridges and all kinds of blinking yellow lights not just school zones All right, no cars behind us, and we're coming up on the double blinking yellow lights. All four are working. When we're in this direction, westbound, they actually alternate like that versus in, in the eastbound direction, they are synchronized. Now, what we've seen in the past is it slows down a lot at the first ones. Now, those second ones are out of view of the camera, and it came to a complete stop. Uh, it's showing that there's a yellow light somewhere. There's no car behind me. I just pushed that to go forward. I guess it, you know, had enough information to think it was safe to go forward. If you acknowledge at a red light, for example, it won't just start going. Um, so I guess it was just kind of confused in that situation. It did end up coming to a complete stop, even though there weren't any road markings uh, like we see up ahead um, at those other two blinking yellow lights. Uh, the light's green, there's no one in front of us, so I'll acknowledge and we'll cruise right through. Lights green, so I'll acknowledge. Okay, this is that intersection where Autopilot has a lot of trouble in both previous software updates, both previous videos that we've done. Uh, Autopilot either went into uh, a lane of opposing traffic and stayed in it until I took over, or in the last video, it just gave up. Both times there was a car in front of us, so we'll see what it does this time. The light just turned green. Uh, it's going automatically, proceeding into the intersection. There is a car waiting to turn, so I'm going to be really careful here and just kind of be ready to completely take over. And I just had a little tension on the wheel because I didn't want to run into that Dodge Stratus head-on or whatever it is. Uh, 
and I did basically disengage autopilot without even trying very hard there because I had enough tension on the wheel. So uh, unfortunately, I'll chalk that up to a failure. This mail truck here is hanging over and, ooh, I need to take over there. That was kind of scary. It almost ran into the mail truck. Hopefully it'll be less eventful the rest of the trip. Okay, there is a car behind me. We're coming up on the single flashing yellow lights and this is the one with the crosswalk. Oh, that car behind me left. It made it through. I didn't touch the accelerator. I think that that uh, crosswalk kind of throws it off too. But anyway, pretty much the same results that we've always been getting there where it slows way down. Since there's only the one light, once it's out of view, it seems like it just proceeds. So uh, here we're coming up on that closed road again. So. Uh, we'll just go around and then resume the test. Disengaged. All right, we went around the road closure and now the indicator's showing back up, so I'll turn autopilot back on. So that was pretty nice. Autopilot handled all those lights pretty well since we had another car in front of us. Here's the part where I signal. Autopilot moves over automatically and then turns off the signal. And here we're coming up on that set of two traffic lights in a row going westbound under the bridge. Uh, it made it through the first set and it looks like, ooh, it got confused. And I think um, I'll, I'll kind of show the video of what was happening there. But um, if you look up at the top, there are actually uh, three lights where the leftmost light is uh, left turn only arrow. And so I think what's happening there from uh, other times when we haven't been making videos when I drive through that intersection, it seems like when all three are green, it passes right through, but otherwise it doesn't. And this is someplace autopilot hasn't ever uh, given up before. Um, so I'm pretty surprised by this one. It, there's a slight curve, but it's never had a problem with it before. Uh, so once the light turns green in a couple seconds here, I'm going to try to acknowledge it anyway and see if it even attempts it. And it did. Uh, so even though it said it had to take over, or it said that I should take over, uh, just hitting the confirmation was enough for it to continue. This is the intersection uh, going in the opposite direction where we've always had a problem. Autopilot always gives up even when it's behind another car. I'm going to be very careful here since there are other cars and it was a similar situation to that previous intersection. I had enough tension on the wheel where I didn't want to hit those cars and uh, Autopilot just uh, basically let me take over uh, with a minimal amount of tension on the wheel. Um, so that was a, definitely a necessary disengagement there to avoid hitting those other cars. Okay, we're turning left here. And uh, as soon as the indicator shows up, I am going to engage autopilot, but right here we've got a situation where there's a cone and then this truck. So really autopilot, the best it can do is just come to a complete stop behind the truck. So I'm going to have to disengage again and just go around the truck and then I can re-engage again and acknowledge the light so that it goes through. So that's a pretty common autopilot problem right now. Um, as far as I can tell, autopilot will never uh, cross a double yellow uh, in order to go around a vehicle. So, um, you know, in that situation, you pretty much just always have to take over if there's a car hanging out at all into the lane. Okay, the light's green. Ding. I was just waiting for the ding for fun that time. And we can proceed. There's a pedestrian crossing, even though it is a green light, so the car's slowing down. And then proceeding, I didn't think I even acknowledged it there. And so then it slammed on the brakes because that car was coming into the other lane. Got some guys crossing the street here, and I'll acknowledge. And all right, well, that's it for the pizza run test this time around. Uh, it wasn't great, really not, there weren't really many improvements. The chime, the green light chime is nice, but it doesn't really improve the autopilot at all. And uh, we'll just keep testing in future updates. Hopefully it'll get better at some of these intersections and have fewer errors, fewer disengagements, and uh, we'll keep you posted.